Do you know a simple digital notebook can make you $100,000 in sales, just like this Etsy shop? And the crazy part is, you can create digital downloadable products like these on Canva in just 10 minutes. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to make your own digital notebook from scratch. Plus, we're diving into all kinds of digital products you can create using Canva. Notebooks are just one of them. So if you're into the digital product business, hit subscribe and check out the full playlist. It's completely free and packed with amazing tutorials. All right, let's get started and create our digital notebook right here from Canva's homepage. So head over to custom size, switch the units from pixels to inches, and then enter the dimensions, 8.5 inches for width and 11 inches for height, which is the perfect size for planner templates. Once done, click on create new design and let's jump into the editor. Now I'm just going to rename this project to Digital Notebook, and we're all set to start designing. So first, I want to find a really nice pattern background for the cover. Under the Elements tab, I'm going to search for Background Pattern, then switch to the Graphics section. If you scroll down, you'll see some amazing pattern designs to choose from. For my design, I'm going with this one. And here's a pro tip. Many of these patterns let you customize the color scheme, which is super handy. But in this case, I'm pretty happy with the original colors so I'll just stretch it across the entire page and make sure it's aligned right at the center. Now let's start designing the cover page. Press R on your keyboard to bring a rectangle onto the canvas. Place it right at the center of the page, resize it a bit to your liking, just like I'm doing here. Next, head over to the color panel and change its fill to white, or choose something bright that fits your design theme. Then, round the corners slightly to give it a softer look, and don't forget to add an outline or border around the rectangle to make it pop against the background. Once you're done with that, go to the text tab and drag a text element into the box. Add your title. I'm going with my notes. Now choose any style from the fonts library. I'm using Cooper BT here and I'll make the text bold and italic for a more personalized touch. Click on the text again and change its color. Canva will automatically suggest colors from your background. Just pick one that complements your design. Now that our box is ready, we can also add some lines for quick notes. To do that, press L on your keyboard to bring in a line. Drag and drop it into the box, just below the text, and reduce its weight to one for a clean, subtle look. Then duplicate the line and space them out evenly to fill the box. And that's it. Our cover page is complete. Now let's move on to designing the actual notebook pages, which is super easy to do. First, click on Add Page at the bottom to insert a new blank page into your design. To create the writing lines, press the L key on your keyboard to bring in a line element. Stretch the line across the page, and here's a tip. Hold the Shift key while adjusting it to keep the line perfectly straight. Next, go to the line weight setting and reduce it to one for a clean, minimal look. Now duplicate the line and place the second one just below the first. Once those are aligned properly, you can press Command plus D on your keyboard to get perfectly spaced lines as we have to maintain equal spacing between each line. It really makes a difference in how professional your final design looks. Watch how I'm doing it here and follow along to get that perfect notebook layout. Once you feel that all the lines have equal spacing, it's time to add some styling to the page. And I'm thinking of matching it with our cover pattern. So head over to the Elements tab and click on Magic Recommendations. This will show you graphics that match the style of your cover page. Scroll through until you find something that fits well and click on it to bring it onto the canvas. Now this part is totally up to your creativity. You can add as many decorative elements as you want. But personally, I like to keep it minimal and clean so I'll just add one element at the top and one at the bottom. For the top element, I'm resizing it and placing it in the top left corner of the page. To make room for the design, I'll slightly shorten the lines underneath it so it doesn't look cramped. Then, I'm going to do the same for the bottom, choosing another element and placing it in the bottom right corner. Again, I'll reduce the line lengths in that area to keep the layout balanced and clean. Just follow along with how I'm doing it and you'll see how these small design touches can make your notebook look professional and ready to sell. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to duplicate the pages. So go down to the grid view option at the bottom of your screen. From here, select your notebook page and hit Command plus D on your keyboard to start duplicating. The number of pages is completely up to you, depending on how many you want to include in your final product. For me, I'll be adding around 30 more pages by duplicating our second page. And just like that, our notebook is ready. Now we can go ahead and download it in high quality, perfect for selling as a digital product. This ensures you keep the design sharp and professional for your customers. So click on the share button at the top, then go to download. For the file type, 
Select PDF standard. This keeps the file size optimized without compromising on quality. Once that's selected, go ahead and download your design to your system, and boom, your digital notebook is ready to sell. But here's the best part. You can create multiple variations of this notebook in just a few clicks. Here's how. Go to File and click on Make a Copy. This will duplicate your entire design into a new tab. Now you're free to change the theme, colors and patterns based on your brand or customer preferences. Start by heading to Elements and searching for background patterns. Pick a new pattern and adjust it on your first page. You can also change the text, like switching My Notes to My Notebook, and update the colors to give it a fresh new look. Once that's done, move to the second page and update the design elements there too, to match your new theme. Watch how I'm doing it to get a better idea. And that's it, your second notebook design is ready. Repeat the process and you'll have a full collection of digital notebooks to offer your customers. You can now download this new design to your system and start building your own digital notebook store on Etsy or any other platform. And if you're planning to list this design on Etsy as a digital downloadable product, say priced at $3 each, I highly recommend checking out the step-by-step -step Etsy tutorial in the playlist. It will walk you through everything from listing your product optimizing your store, and setting the right price based on your shop's performance, even if you're just starting out. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss a new design tutorial. And hey, drop a comment if you'd like to see more notebook variations or ideas for your Etsy store. I'm here to help you grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.